Richard Southern joins us to chat about the day's top business stories. And we talked about grocery prices yesterday, Richard, only fitting now. We talk about inflation. Yep, the latest numbers for December in today. And, uh, well, here we go again. Inflation on the rise, Erica, up to 3.4% in December uh, from 3.1% the prior month. Gasoline had a, a lot to do with this, a big uptick in gasoline prices, adding to that hotter-than-expected headline number. This is not quite... Uh, what economists were thinking, right? They thought, man, this is going to trail off a bit. Not the case. You mentioned grocery prices. They were up another 4.7% year-on-year in December, with meat and vegetable prices continuing to accelerate. Rent prices should add uh, nationally up 7.7% year-on-year. Bank of Canada uh, is going to make an interest rate decision next week. Expectation is for no change. Economist Erica still think we'll see some rate cuts maybe in the, the spring or into mid-year. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it shakes we'll out. We'll keep but an eye on that. Inflation could change the channel on that if it still keeps rising. Right. Okay, one of Canada's biggest toy chains has gone through quite a bit these last few months, and now they're making some sweeping changes. Right? Yeah, layoffs, uh, unfortunately, yeah. as is often the case when you see a business uh, sold as Mastermind Toys just was. Mastermind uh, handing pig slips to 272 employees across Canada as the retailer turned over uh, new ownership. Uh, the struggling company uh, announcing uh, yesterday the closure of its sale to a company called Unity. This is owned by retail leaders, including Joe Mimran, the man behind Joe Fresh. Uh, 619 other Mastermind employees have been given new employment offers. Mastermind filed for creditor protection in November, citing increased competition and disruptions because of the COVID-19 pandemic era. Okay, and finally, a scary incident on a Boeing airplane earlier this month has led to some important quality changes, you hope. Uh, yeah. yeah, they were finding like loose bolts and yeah. everything. So Boeing, I mean, they're struggling to tackle this big PR issue and big uh, legitimate safety issue. They're saying today uh, that they're going to uh, put forward more quality inspectors for the 737 MAX 9. We're looking at the plane in question there. This was a Alaska Airlines flight earlier this month where this door plug blew off. Luckily, it was able to land safely. Uh, the plane maker says it will deploy a team as well to Spirit Aero Systems, which is the third-party company that makes and installs these door plugs. Uh, the new actions from Boeing come as the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration on Friday extended the grounding of these planes. Again, no Canadian Airlines operated, Erica. United does, and, and Alaska does, and it's something that uh, a lot of people want to see. Uh, the, the result of right. the investigation. How did this happen and what are they going to do to fix it? Yeah, it was one thing to the, 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 the plane door flew off and then after there's loose bolts and so it's a scary thing that we've been following. Yeah, is it a manufacturing now. issue? Right. We'll have to wait and see. All right, thanks for that, Richard. We'll see you again at 640 for our interesting stories chat and I know you have more on your Service Ontario story. Thank you. See you then.